Hi honeys and welcome back to my series Challenge Holly on Video Jug. This week I've been challenged to do my makeup for under £10 which is a budget but as you can see this is the completed look with the pink glossy lip, beautiful eyes, a nice flushed cheek and a beautiful highlight and yes we literally done this for under £10. So I'm going to start by applying my foundation all over. This is by Beauty UK, it's the perfect matte and it's £1.74. So basically honeys, I'm going to apply this to my foundation brush and then in, just tap it on the face as you would any other foundation and then just in circular motion blend that in. So the great thing about this foundation is because we're doing it on a budget, you're not going to need powder after because it is a matte foundation. And just for you that want to know, this is in the colour 01 Beige. See, that's gone on and it's just slightly starting to dry and it's turning to a nice matte consistency. Now we're going to go in with our Beauty UK blusher. This is the Stripey blusher and it's £1.64. So you get one, two, three, four, you get five different shades in one compact, which is just perfect for our budget makeup look. So for the blusher side of it, all I'm going to do is swirl my little blusher brush around all the colours, just like so. Tap off the excess and just we're going to apply this just to the apples of the cheeks. So smile a little bit and then just in a circular motion apply the colour. Don't forget you don't want to do it too low down, you want to keep it nice and lifted on the face. I'm using the Beauty UK blusher palette still and I'm going to just take this fluffy brush and I'm going to apply it very carefully a downwards like this just so it picks up this lighter beige colour and slightly onto the white one as well. So you want to make sure you're only picking up these colours and we're going to apply this as the highlight so just above where we applied the cheek colour we're just going to apply that lovely beautiful highlight. So just again making sure that you're not picking up any of the other pinkier colours. So this is great for using the colours individually. And then we're just going to sweep that just above the colour that we use for the blusher. And I'm also going to apply this whiter colour on my brow bone just to lift my little brow bone up a little. And then also with this little palette, I'm going to use the darker browner colour here at the bottom. And you could even use this as a bit of a bronzer as well. But we're going to just pop this all over the eyelid as a nice eyeshadow colour. So for this palette, we've used this on our brow bone, for blusher as a highlight and also as an eyeshadow and there's one more little job that this little blusher palette can do and that is on our lips. So I'm going to be taking these two pinky colours and just using my finger, I'm going to rub it up and down these two pink lines and then we're going to place this, patting it on to our lips. So this is a great little tip that all makeup artists like to do, just using different products for different areas on the face. Don't forget to try this at home guys, have a little go yourself, use an eyelash an eyebrow product for maybe the lips or a lip product for maybe staining the cheeks. Just have a little play with makeup, that's what's great about makeup. So I'm also going to go in just with this lighter colour here and the white colour and just highlight the in middle part of my lip. And then over the top of that we're just going to add some lip gloss. This one I believe is by MUA. So just apply this all over, so now it looks like you've got a pinky gloss and this one is only one pound. How amazing is that, you'd never even know there was eyeshadow on your lip, it literally looks like a pink lip gloss. Now we're going to be doing our brows, I'm going to fill this in with the Beauty UK Ash Brown brow pencil and it's only $1.99 and it comes with an amazing handy little comb that you can brush through your brows to make them look a little bit more hair like. So I'm just going to start by filling them in with the pencil, just doing a little light sweepy hairline stroke motion so they look more natural and realistic. Try on your little outer towels more as well. 
and then fade in the colour into the middle towards the nose. And then after you've applied the colour, you can just take the little brush on the end of the lid and just sweep that through the brow and that will just evenly distribute the colour and product. Or if you've made a little mistake, we've gone a little too heavy, this will help to soften it. So just fill the other one in. And a lot of the time people would think that if you used a lot of cheap makeup that the makeup wouldn't look that great, but half the time a lot of it is down to technique rather than the actual product choice. And then another little use for the brow pencil is eyeliner. So we're just going to pop this on the bottom little rims of our eyes. Now it's not a coal, so I'm not going to put it on the waterline because it might be a little bit too harsh. And I'm also going to run it along the top of the outer lash line. And a nice brown means that it will be soft, which is a perfect daytime look. Now we're going to add lashings of mascara. This one is the extra volume length and lift mascara, so you're getting two different jobs out of one mascara, and it's also by Beauty UK. Now this one's only £2.49, so we're just going to lift and add lashes of mascara. And if you make sure you really wiggle at the root and lift the lashes up, you don't really need to curl too much, because we are on a budget. Okay, so I've just totted up the amount and it's come to a grand total of £8.86p. Wow, I can't believe it, literally under £10. Okay, honey, so I hope you've enjoyed my challenge for this week. All the products I've used in the video are in the description box below this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and you can also comment below this video. Maybe there's a challenge you'd like to set me. And we'll see you next week for another challenge, Holly. Bye.